All right, guys, the last video was super long, like 40 minutes, so I apologize for how long it was. There's just a lot of footage in it, and I wanted to show you guys the entire shoes being made. So this one's going to be real short and sweet. This is the second to last, uh, I feel like it's the second to last Iron Man video. I think the next video is going to be me putting it all on and it being completely finished, and I'm pretty freaking pumped about it. So, what, what I did today... What I wanted to show you is I got the lights put in the thigh pieces. See the lights there and the wiring that runs all the way down. You can see uh, it's hot glued and it's still kind of drying at the moment. That's why there's tape on there. Hot glued all the way up to the top. So this piece right here is the thigh that plugs into there's a little connector back here on the back, right there. And the other thigh plugs in to that one. So there's two pieces. Those are both uh, female plugins. And if you guys can see that that is a male plugin. I got plenty of wire here so it can be tucked in and such. And then plenty of wire down here at the bottom. So you can see the ankle piece there. It'll just go straight through the ankle piece. And then down into the shoe. Well, oh, wrong, wrong angle. But anyways, that's that's how it'll go. So I'm pumped about that. It'll go through the ankle and into the shoe. And you can see the shoe here has a male piece, and these have female pieces there. So same thing with the biceps. Biceps were done today too. You can see the lights in here. Same thing. It was. Uh, the white glue is that boat stuff, <laughs> the uh, flex glue, flex feel, flex seal, whatever it's called. Um, that's why I wanted to put it in. Hell, that, that stuff holds boats together and it's doing a damn good job on the shoes. So I figured I'd put it in here because it's going to be stronger than anything else. Um, and then the wires are uh, hot glued to be put in place. And these wires go up and they run around here to the inside where they will hook on to the inside of the suit for that piece there. So let me show you guys this one. So you can see from the side of the Iron Man suit, that piece sticking out there. And that piece will just plug right in to that. So this is how it goes, look. This actually goes up and under here, like that and then that'll plug right into there. And then again, plenty of wire to tuck in. And then this wire, I'll show you on this other one, goes all the way through. Comes out the bottom here, which that's not a whole lot of wire. It's just gotta be enough to plug in because that goes into the hands and the hands have this big wire coming down from it so all that's going to have to be tucked up into the um, wrist part so I made sure and uh, only cut that a specific length so you're not going to see a whole bunch of wire when my hand starts moving around falling out of there uh, so I've already tested them all I've already plugged them all in hooked the hands up to the biceps hooked the shoes up to the thighs and everything's working, everything's good. I'm not gonna show you on here because I wanna show you guys in the next video on the finished piece uh, when it's all together. It looks really, really good, really good. Um, so that's all the lights that I did. I wanna show you from up here. So you can see the two hands, the two biceps, the, uh, let's flip these over shoes and the two thighs all got lights put in them so that's a lot a lot a lot of LEDs so here's the thing guys here's the big kicker I am NOT going to put LEDs in the butt part here I think I'm probably just gonna put a cover over it the reason being is because the strap that hooks the butt piece on that keeps it movable like this so it moves around actually comes straight across right here and underneath here and if I were to put the lights in there I've already got them rigged up and everything and ready to go but if I were to put them in there it would uh, 
put more stress on the butt, butt piece and it would cause like a structural integrity to kind of, I think it would fail. So I'm not going to put those lights in there. I know it kind of sucks, but I think I've got plenty. I mean, I've got all of those that I just mentioned, plus this one, that one over there. These ones up here at top, both of them. Two at the top of the collar, the middle, two down under here, and then the two down there. And then, then the eyes light up. So I mean, tons of light already. You know, I don't think anybody's really gonna notice the butt piece. So anyways, what I'm doing now is I'm gonna be, these are the ABS um, molding plastic stuff, the stuff for like vacuum molding. Uh, that's that plastic. But I don't think I'm gonna use that on these pieces over here. I've actually got um, the measurements and everything and I'm gonna be printing those out, the pieces that go in here, because I want it all to match this and that. So uh, I think that's how I'm gonna do these ones. So I've just got that basically left to go. Then I've gotta do a bunch of touch-up painting, put the finish uh, polish over the top, because there's a lot of scratches and stuff now. I've gotta do a finish painting. Uh, hit all the, all the little tiny parts with uh, extra paint, make it look really nice and good, do some sanding and stuff, and then put the finished coat, the clear coat, and then um, the fingers, you guys can see this uh, elastic stuff here, I've got those in the fingers, and the fingers attached to the top part of the hand, uh, and then I had to go in here with a Dremel and sand these out to make them fit good. Uh, they fit, my, my fingers are different than the actual model themselves, and so they fit my fingers, but just certain shapes in it needed to be adjusted, so I went through and did a lot of adjustment throughout here. Um, so these have to be completely repainted, or at least the fingers, and a bit of the top part of it and stuff, especially in the front, so a lot of touch-up painting, a lot of stuff like that. Everything's marked, you can see right, you can see left in that one. Uh, in these, you can see marked up here right, the other one's left, um, the shoes, I mean everything's marked. That way whenever it goes, goes on, my son isn't lost when he's helping me put them on. Um, so, anyways, I'll get a little bit more in depth in the next video. Uh, I just wanted to make a real quick update for the Iron Man build and let you guys know that this is like the second to last one. Make sure that you go, guys go over to that other video that I made, uh, the Deadpool the Avengers in-game Deadpool and leave your your uh, comment on it because I think only one or two people have commented on it so far and that's going to be the giveaway. Uh, help me get to 2,000 guys. <laughs> I said I, I think we only had like 1,800 or something like that whenever I made the video and I said we should be getting to 2,000 by the time the movie comes out and I've already only got, I've only got like 68 more subscribers to go until we get to 2,000. So I should be getting to 2,000 right as Endgame comes out. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button and go over to my video called Endgame Deadpool and leave your Deadpool for the, for the uh, Avengers Endgame movie. Uh, but anyways, short and sweet, like I said. We'll see you guys later. Y'all have a good one. Next video, I'll show you guys completely suited up and lights on.